Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a totally off the cuff video. I didn't intend shooting. Um, tonight, actually, I was thinking I might pop the uh, rest of the rings into the block, uh, but that's going to be for another video. So, we've had a little rain here in Northern California, not a crazy amount, just a sort of steady drizzle. And so I come back from work and my wife looks a bit peed off and she's, uh, she's discovered her 2009 TIG one, the blue one that I complain about on a regular basis, has been leaking. So let me give you a look of how much water I pulled out of this modern VW 2009 TIG one. All right, those who've been following the channel obviously know I'm, I've got a, a love of the old classics. 1968 here uh, and my 6.3 and my 6.3 and my 4.5 all of which don't leak by the way uh, well this won't leak but anyway so here's a shop vac okay and she came home really upset because this thing has been nothing but a pain in the butt ever since we've had it I'll give you a little background it's got one of those fancy moon roofs that stand from front to back uh, when we first bought it, we thought, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, so we had it about two years, and we realised the uh, the roof liner was getting all wet, right? So I call up Volkswagen. I said, this thing's leaking. And actually, tell a lie, it was about four years we'd done it, and we noticed it had started leaking. And from my understanding, it comes from the drain holes at the four corners of the roof, you see. And... Uh, so I was really upset about it because she loves this car for some reason. <laughs> anyway, she loves this car. And I said, yeah, this is not good enough. It's a modern car. It's only four years old and it's leaking from the moonroof. And I said, it's just not good. What are you going to do? Are you going to do it under warranty or something? And he said, oh, no, we can't do that. I said, well, come on, mate. I mean, it's a 2009. Are you going to replace the roof liner under warranty? Because this shouldn't be leaking after such a short period of time. And he actually had the neck to say, well, it is a four-year-old car. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, he said, uh, I told him, I said, I've got a 50-year-old Mercedes in the driveway with a sunroof and it don't leak. Uh, cut a long story short, they did replace the roof liner. And the known problem is the joints. There's this little connector, like a push-fit connector at each of the joints, that's the weak point. And when they put the roof liner in, they just put the same ones back in again and show sure enough a few years late start leaking again so anyway she comes home tonight for a fast forward bearing in mind this is what 15 year old car which isn't old in my mind this is my shop back and let me show you what i pulled out of it there you go that's half full that's a two and a half gallons of water this thing has been sitting out here for one day we got rain this morning, one day, and I shot back that out of the footwells. The driver's the passenger and the rear passenger, not this side. So we're lucky this side, apparently. Can you believe it? I mean, so anyway, I wanted a little rant to you guys because honestly, really, they, and I've gone a little internet search and they've known about this issue in this and Audis and other Volkswagens with these blooming sunroofs. They've known that this issue is a problem and they haven't done anything about it. You can see countless videos of VW Tiguans with the same problem. I just, I just don't understand it. It really, really annoys the crap out of me. So that's why I'll never ever myself buy a modern car screw them i'm done with it so stick with the 68 and merely this is in a nice cozy garage but anyway i can guarantee if i put this outside it wouldn't leak anyway <laughs> so forgive me for the rant because i don't normally get that upset but modern cars really piss me off uh you got to spend big bucks to get real quality i think nowadays and that's true with a lot of things but uh I'm sticking with the old stuff. So I'll see you in the next video, putting those rings in, in a lovely old Mercedes, and uh, have a good night. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.